To access your web resources online, you will have to log into your eLearning account by clicking on the login button and then putting in your username with your password and clicking login. You want to make sure that you're on the teacher page. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your menu, which is uh, the three lines. When you click on them, scroll down until you see the resources. Go ahead and click on that. There are a lot of resources on e-learning. The one that we're looking for is the web resources. Go ahead and click on that. And you will find all the different web resources that are on this page. You'll see the screen that organizes the web resources by the different types and the ways that you could use them in the classroom, such as brainstorming, discussion, reflection, etc. You'll also notice that the resources are on the left side, and if you click on any one of them, you will expand the menu and you will see other things that are in there. So for instance, in Google site, you can see a trailer that shows you a little bit about what Google Sites is, but then you could click on exemplars where you could see how students and teachers are using Google site or other resources. You could also check out the For Teachers page that has a lot of different resources for you. So you could figure out how to actually use the tool, like how-to tutorials, but then also other tips and strategies of ways to use these tools in the classroom. In the Students section, you will find a Google Slide presentation that helps students with directions on how to use the specific tool. You'll also see that there's a clip. When you click on that, it's an attachment, and you'll be able to open up a PDF, like uh, similar to a comic, where again it gives you directions of how to use the tool.